Hi everyone, this is Dr. Heather Austin Groblard. I'm your instructor for this online section of ADRS 4324 Assessment and Testing in Addiction and Recovery. For this short little lecture video, I'm just going to go over um, the syllabus and introduce you to who I am so you can get to know me a little bit before you start this uh, fall semester. So to introduce myself, um, I am a licensed marriage and family therapist um, and supervisor. I have a private practice here in Lubbock, Texas, where I actually work with individuals who have some sort of substance or behavioral addiction. And I have done several substance abuse evaluations through my private practice, which is a key component of our coursework this semester. Let's go ahead and turn over to the syllabus. So as you can see, I do have office hours here at, on campus as well as on Zoom um, on Thursdays from 12 to 1 p.m. If that time frame doesn't work for you, please just send me an email and we can try to schedule another time to meet. There are no required textbooks in this course. Um, all of your required reading is going to be located on Blackboard. Please make sure that all of your materials are up to date um, and that you're only turning in assignments through Word or PDF as my computer is unable to accept pages. Let's take a look at the uh, course assignments that are required this semester. So you will have a syllabus quiz that's due um, this week in order to assess your comprehension of the syllabus. There are two exams. Uh, the first exam covers the first half of the coursework and the last exam covers the last half of the coursework. Uh, those are 50 points each and they are open book, open note, but please remember that you're not allowed to work with anybody and no use of AI, please. Um, in order to really help you understand and grasp the um, and to grasp the concepts within this course, we do have a few activities that will be worth 15 points. Um, a lot of these activities are you coming up with questions or facilitating a role play where you're giving um, a screening or an assessment tool to someone. Um, these are super important and can actually be used in your writing exercises, which we'll talk about later. Then we have module quizzes. Um, the lowest module quiz will be dropped at the end of the semester. Uh, so those can be for if for some reason you just forget to take an ex uh, a quiz or if you score badly on a quiz, you can use the, the last one as a way to kind of make up for that. Our largest portion of this class is to teach you how to do a substance abuse evaluation. And the way that we're going to be doing this is through two writing exercises. The first writing exercise, you are going to be required to video record your role play. You can use um, somebody from this course um, or you can use a family or friend. You'll record your interview and then you'll write up the results which you'll learn more about. In the second one you do not have to record your role play video because there is going to be more information that you have to role play with your friend or family member as well as what you have to write up. And then of course we do have a few discussion board uh, assignments. Please remember that in order to get full credit, you need to make sure that you're also commenting thoughtfully on at least one other person in the course. Um, and please remember not to use any kind of AI or chat GBT while you're writing up these discussion boards. Because there's no late work accepted in this class, I do have two extra credit opportunities. The first is the SONA research participation. You can um, complete two hours of research or two SONA credits and earn up to 10 points of SONA. Um, the other extra credit opportunity is after writing exercise one, you will have an opportunity to give feedback on your um, classmates role playing video um, and then do a rating sheet in order to earn some extra credit points. Here are how much each assignment is worth and how many points you would need to earn in order to get your desired grade. Please know at the end of the semester, I do round up your grade if you are 1.5% away from the next letter grade. So for example, if you end the semester at a 68.5, I will bump you up to a C. However, if you score anything higher than that, like a 68.4, then unfortunately you, you will remain at a D. As you can see in course communication, I do respond um, via email or through the student lounge within 24 to 48 hours, depending on whether it's Monday through Friday or over the weekend. And then my goal is always to get your assignments graded to you within one week of their due date. 
However, uh, some assignments may take me a little bit longer to grade, like the writing exercises, just because of the extents, uh, extensiveness of them and the number of students that I have in this class. If you are working with Student Disability Services, please make sure that you have emailed me to confirm that I have received your accommodations before, that I, before I can actually put those up on Blackboard for you. Lastly, I want to turn your attention to the course schedule. What's really important is this is this uh, is going to tell you when the module opens and when the assignments from that module are due. So for example, you can see that the syllabus quiz and the extra credit student introduction discussion board are going to be due this Sunday, August 25th. Um, you will notice that most of your assignments are going to be due on Sundays at 11.59. Anything that is bolded is telling you that that assignment is actually due on a different day than Sundays at 11.59. So please make sure you're writing down all your assignments, doing what you need to do in order to keep track because there is no late work accepted in this course. I really hope you guys have fun with this, uh, the assignments in this course. It really gives you a good look at what it's like to work with clients with substance abuse evaluations needed, um, as well as how to write one up. Thank you and have a wonderful day.